Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do savings challenges and I'm gonna kind of explain where I'm getting the money from to do these savings challenges. Also, um, I will be working on a budget with me video or it's more like a how I budget video. Okay, let's move on because I don't wanna get into that. So this is money that I pulled out from the bank for um, the fall savings challenge. This is rollover money from groceries. I went grocery shopping and this is what's left before I restuff my envelope. So it's 20, 40, 45, 46, and 47. I really just grabbed the bare minimum this time for, um, for groceries. So there's that. And then this is money that comes from my spending money um, that I give myself every week. So there's $10 in here. So, okay, first of all, for the zero out challenge this week, I transferred over $5.50, bringing our total for this challenge to $65.73. Um, that's pretty exciting. And that just stays in the bank, I don't, I don't touch it. Um, it's, we put it over for uh, a sinking fund that we have for like my husband's classes slash any certification test that he wants to take um, for IT. So let's get into our other savings challenges. Right now 100 envelope is on pause, Saveopoly is on pause, Saveopoly is on pause. I've already done um, mine for the month of October. So let's see how much is in here. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, and 102 dollars. Yeah, yeah. Where's Jocelyn? <laughs> um, if you're not if you're not following Cash Me in Paradise, um, you should be. I will link her down below. Um, I just it makes me laugh every time she says yeah, yeah, because I say that at home all the time. <laughs> Okay, um, so fall savings challenge. This is the savings challenge uh, that Budget with Brands created. And I think I just want to finish it off this week. Um, so I'm supposed to add $20 and $30 for $50, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to add $60. So I grabbed the 20 that I grabbed from the bank specifically for this. And then I take $20 from our grocery rollover. So in here we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 160. So, um, what did I say? 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 2, 60. So I'm just going to mark this off because I like checking stuff off. So we have $260. This is now complete. Um, fun story that I will get into at another point. But uh, I meant to make a credit card payment this week for $75. Well, I was like burping my baby with one hand and making a credit card payment with the other hand and I made a payment of $750 instead of just $75. Um, so we will get into how, <laughs> how I'm gonna fix that. All I'm gonna say is thank goodness that I had unstuffed my 100 envelopes and had that money in the bank um, so that I could cover that payment or also would have had to take money from our house down payment fund. Um, so I'm gonna go over how we're going to replace that money in that account. Alrighty, so let's get set up for the last two challenges. All right, so again, I failed to mention, October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. That's I have this really cute tumbler right here. Uh, my youngest brother, the baby, he is 18 years old, almost 19, and he has Down Syndrome. Um, so I just wanted to mention that, bring that up. Um, he is just so awesome. And maybe I'll tell you a little bit about him every, every video for the rest of the week since it's October. Um, last week I told you guys that he he, is, he brings so much light and love um, and joy to our family. He is really the glue, um, you know, in our family. I don't think that I would spend as much time as my parent, at my parents, with my parents, if it wasn't for my brother. Um, because I'm so much older than, than my mom was remarried. My mom got married when I was 11 years old and had two children with my, who I, I call him my dad, um, her husband, my dad. Um, 
but the age difference there was like a 12 years old because they have two sons and um you know it, it just I think it would have just been like a natural thing for me once I moved out to just not be there very much because we're just not not that close or what anything but um I really feel like my youngest brother that was born with Downs he um I mean there's just like a <laughs> like a what's what's like he's like a magnet right he he draws me there and um I'm really grateful to have him in our family he really does kind of bring us all together all right so that's that about him so the next savings challenge is this one here saving with scully and this is from chris princett or chris budgets on youtube let me push it up here so chris budgets on youtube down here and um chris princett on etsy and we're supposed to add 10 more dollars but i don't have that so i'm gonna add i'm gonna just make change here and put this one for ten dollars and let's just finish coloring this in All right, that's good enough, looks good. So in here we should have $25. 21, two, three, four, and five. And I'm just gonna double check these ones. Okay. So actually what I'm gonna do with this money um, is I'm going to go ahead and put it over here in emergency travel because we haven't been playing Saveopoly and I wanna make sure that we're contributing something to this. So I'm gonna add $25 to it's emergency travel 25 so i'm not about to do math in my head we that's 25 405 let's make sure that is correct one two three 20 40 60 80 400 one two three four and five yeah yeah Alrighty. Alright, so that's that one. Let me get ready for the next challenge. Alright, this one here is from D versus Debt, and she's D versus Debt on Etsy and on YouTube. And this is her 2022 savings challenge. And this is you're saving money um, every Friday until the new year. And where I'm getting this money from is from my personal spending money. So if you guys see me stuff my envelopes here. Um, most weeks, you know, unless I spend all my money before I get it, then I don't stuff my. But then um, this stays here at home, and then in my wallet I have this little um, smaller envelope where I keep my personal spending money. And if I don't spend it, then I just keep it in there. I I just I don't add anything to it. I just keep ten bucks in there. Um, but for this challenge, I am gonna pull it out and add. You would think I would have a more organized way of doing this, but I don't. So ten dollars. So we're adding here. I'm gonna put it in here. So there's that for that, and then over here, so that I have money in my wallet. I'm gonna put another ten. So then this would go in my wallet. And then the remaining money here from our leftover groceries is 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars is gonna go over here. That's the rollover for household and groceries. Alright guys, that is it for today. Um, yeah, that's it for today. We were able to complete the um, budget with friends fall savings challenge. We completed saving with Scully. We added here for our 2022 savings challenge, and we did the zero out challenge. Um, let's let's add up what we did. So if I remember correctly, if I did that correctly, then we did eighty-five dollars and fifty cents. Five dollars and fifty cents was for the uh, zero out challenge, and then the rest was cash that we stuffed was eighty dollars. So um, that's that's good for 
not doing what we usually do I, i'm really happy with that anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are all doing well and um i will talk to you guys next time bye